welcome back to my channel is Leisha and I hope you guys are all doing well so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my review of the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder I would like to thank Anastasia Beverly Hills and Influencer for sending me this product it was sent to me in exchange for my honest review so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how I use it and my thoughts I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments your favorite loose setting powder or if you intend getting this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now let's get right in the video. Bye. So I already primed my eyes. I'm going to be using the Rich in Life Patricia Brights palette. I already filmed a video about this um, palette in my other video, but I did not use the Rich in Life palette. peach this is what it looks like I think this would be a dark um, powder to set my under eyes I intend getting another shade like the banana um, shade to set my under eye this might be too dark I would just try to see what it looks like under my eyes It's not that bad. I'll just go ahead and use it. Let me grab my sponge. Never used this product before. This would be my first time. This is what the shade looks like. It's not that bad.
Wow, I love how I love that the powder is really smooth, like it doesn't feel like I'm adding a lot of powder on my skin. I love how soft the powder feels. I don't bake. brush is from Juvia's Place. I'm just going to dust everything out. Wow. It blends really well with my skin tone. And I thought that it wasn't going to be good for my skin tone. Wow. It just feels like, I feel like the powder just did the job for me. product like approved I'm gonna go in with the Patricia bright face palette and I'm going to go in with this shade here the blush shade You guys, today is going to be another day of me using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. I just had to do my face um, before using the powder. I did show you a clip of me using the powder, but I didn't carry the makeup for long to let you guys see how well she would do on my skin for like hours. So today I'm going to be showing you how long this powder will wear on my skin. The powder I received is in the shade Deep Peach, which I already told you before. I'm going to use the powder at the back of my hand so I don't put excess product on my skin. The powder is super lightweight. I'm just gonna... powder feels like I do not have it doesn't feel heavy on my skin that's the reason why I really like this powder this is the second time of me using this powder I'm just gonna use it on all the places that I used my concealer So lightweight. You see how much I put on my face? Like, I'm gonna try to dust it off because I wanna, like, um, prove a point to you guys about what I'm gonna be telling you next. So I'm going to use my face brush, this I used it days ago, like two days ago, so this is the Jovia's Place face brush and I'm going to try to dust all of this off. I do not have any product on it except the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder that I had on it before, so I'm going to, you guys, can you see how easy this powder came off my skin, look at the side, look. Can you see how easy it came off my skin? Can you see how flawless my skin looks? Can you see how easy it was to just dust off this powder off my skin? I'm not going to mention any brand, but over 
time of me doing my makeup when I use a setting powder the same way that I used it in this video when it's time for me to dust off my um, like the loose setting powder on my skin it takes so long to dust it off to look like this you guys it takes so long to dust off because I skip the videos like the part when I'm dusting it off because I don't want to keep you guys waiting and wondering why it's taking so long for me to dust the powder off my skin I always go in with my MAC pressed powder this one is in dark tip I use this pressed powder when I use other loose setting powder on my skin because I want the pressed powder to like erase the um, the powder off my skin like make it look like my skin tone in as much as the colors of the setting powder are brighter than my skin but because it's taking too long to get off my skin I would just quickly go in with this and just let it go but with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, loose setting powder this is the second time of me using the setting powder like I just finished my makeup from the clip I just used my um, face powder brush to dust off the loose setting powder from my skin and it looks like my skin like it doesn't I did not even have to go in with my Mac pressed uh, powder to dust it off I did not skip through the video I had to dust it off for you guys to see that it was so fast for me to just just dust off I highly recommend this powder you guys I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good loose setting powder the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder is the way to go if you want something that would just make your skin look flawless and the powder has no scent to it like the powder has no scent I highly recommend this powder now I will just go in and finish up with the rest of my makeup and I'll let you guys know what's up I applied this setting powder I would just say it was 935 this is 9 I don't know if you guys can see but, but this is 938 I would just say I applied the powder on my skin at 9.35 because I've been talking um, on camera. So at 9.35 I apply the powder. I will finish up with the rest of my makeup and then after some hours I will come back to tell you guys what's up. Okay, so I'll finish up with the rest of my makeup. Hi guys, so I'm back and I'm just going to show you guys the time really quick. It's 4.22 which means I've had the makeup for close to six hours plus and this is my skin I had to reduce the brightness of the camera so you guys can actually see what my skin looks like I did not have any touch up on look at my lips like no gloss no touch up my this is my skin six hours I'm quite impressed with the look of the powder on my skin I do have oily skin during the summertime but when it's fall and winter time I get like um, a combination skin but this is what my skin look like I'm just gonna zoom a little bit so you guys can see what under my eyes look like it does look matte my forehead looks oily my nose area looks oily I'm quite impressed with this powder I'm just gonna touch up now using my um, powder brush this on my forehead and this is what my face look like like new you guys I really love this powder I love the way she held up on my skin I highly recommend this powder and this is gonna be in my top favorite list of setting loose setting powders that I'm going to be using I highly recommend this product the only thing is I feel like this is my skin tone I would like to get a brighter shade for under my eyes I'll be using the deep peach everywhere else around my face and but under my eyes I will use the brighter shade which I'm yet to get which is the banana shade 
the like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you've used this setting powder before or which is your favorite setting powder. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!